Good morning. Uh, today I'm speaking with John Pasolacqua. I believe that's, is that correct pronunciation? Of your yeah, name, it's John? perfect, John. Thank you so much. Okay. And I want to congratulate you, John. Uh, you have, you're running a perfect operation from my point of view. You, you have, not only are you producing a very necessary technology product, but you have now allied yourself with the company next in the supply chain. It's fantastic. Most, most companies at your level do not do that. They think they can do things on their own that they can't. Okay. So uh, can you tell uh, the company I'm speaking of is Sun Chemical. And can you please tell our audience a little bit about what you're doing with Sun Chemical? Then I'm going to make some comments. Yeah, so thank you very much for that, uh, Jack. I really appreciate uh, the kudos. Um, it certainly is a lot of work. We certainly are looking at mining in a very different way. Uh, we believe that the, the mm -hmm. mine doesn't have value unless it's part of a supply chain. So we, we are working not only to get the mine in production, but to get the whole supply chain uh, in production as well. Um, we need to stand up lithium iron phosphate battery uh, in North America. Uh, Sun Chemical is a great partner for us um, in that um, you know, we have three pillars to our business. The first pillar is the mine uh, and the concentration to make phosphate concentrate. The second pillar of that is to um, turn that phosphate concentrate into purified phosphoric acid, which is a precursor to LFP battery. And the third pillar is to make LFP cathode active material. Um, and that's where Sun steps in. Now, obviously, you know, you, you, can't, you can't be too big and try to take over the world. So everything is happening with partners, uh, with the largest partners out there, people that we can trust, people who have been in these industries for a long time. Our real mainstay is going to be putting into production the mine and the concentration facility. And we rely on Prayon from Belgium to make the purified phosphoric acid uh, with their process, which is you know uh, world-class. They invented the science back in the 1950s and then comes in uh, you know, some chemical um, to make the, pure, uh, the LFP cathode active material. We're still dependent on a process. However, what the Sun Chemical have, they have facilities. Um, they have facilities in the Michigan area. Um, they have facilities around the world. Uh, they're backed by DIC Group, which you know is a $150 billion US market cap on a to Tokyo Stock Exchange. So why is that important? It's important for several reasons. Um, number one is they have experience. They have an experience in making industrial products. It's not just you know some type of a whim. They have 1,400 employees. Um, in North America, the, that's all they do. They work on, you know, making oxides, making pigments um, in the print industry, which is very similar to the LFP industry. If it's not directly similar, at least the uh, the approach, the attention to detail, um, the procedures, the materials that you're working with are similar, and that's very important. That's number one. Number two, um, having the facilities um, available is a great savings of time because you don't have to get permitted, and also of capex because it takes a lot to build these facilities. They already have the facilities there. They have the, you know, the rail options to them, the trucking options to them, shipping the logistics. Um, and that allows us really to focus on, you know, what's most important, choosing a technology to make LFP, um, focusing on the end client uh, and focusing on R&D. There's a big R&D component to this as well, because we're moving sensitive processes that may work in China, um, but they're different. They're different here in North America for various reasons. Number one is we have different environmental standards. So, you know, you can't make it, same way that it's made in China. Um, but, um, you know, Sun Chemical has got a very large research and development department. They, they have a $100 million budget per annum to R&D. They've got, you know, defined research centers around the world. And they also have, you know, a number of employees working in them. So that's really important to us. And that's where we feel that, you know, the focus really needs to be, needs to be on the on localization and, and the R&D. Um, so, you know, and then also Sun Chemical makes an iron oxide. They make it for the pigment industry. It's very high purity. That's a very important source for the LFP battery. And so those are really the main elements um, that, uh, you know, Sun Chemical brings to the table for us. It's really an ability to accelerate the business here. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, want, I want everyone to understand that LFP batteries are probably going to be the battery of choice in, in the market because they are much easier to to bring into production in the sense that they don't they don't need cobalt nickel maybe some nickel things like that that are that are simply not sourced domestically we and, and but the thing that 
that strikes me, John, about what you've done that's outstanding is that you are participating in the supply chain downstream. And you're going to be, your venture together with uh, Sun Chemical will be presenting to battery makers in the United States domestic uh, uh, lithium iron phosphate cathode material, totally domestic. And even though the major Asian battery makers, many of which are locating here, uh, they they do their own, right? But they don't have domestic supply. So my guess is that the car, the, the automotive business, AOM automotive business, North America, is going to come to you and say, we, we'd like you to be the source. And then they will uh, have that discussion with their suppliers. And so I don't see a downside for you here. I'm amazed at what you've done because typically in most technology materials, what happens is that the miner says, I'm going, uh, uh, somebody, let's, for example, we'll say they're going to, they're going to be a, a lithium miner in the United States. There are people who think they're going to do that. And, and they say, well, we're going to make cathodes and batteries and uh, toys. No, this is nonsense. Developing a supply chain, if de novo could take decades. It's all it already exists. And to be honest with you, I once I saw you and allied yourself with Sun, I said, wow, it's a perfect combination. So either you're a genius or somebody at Sun is, because this is an ideal combination of businesses. And you're Neither one of you can lord it over the other because you both bring something to the table that you need. But you've now taken your small company and allied it with a fairly large company with a very good reputation. And when you present to the market, what you just said, for example, the the $100 million R&D budget looks, is pretty impressive. What's more impressive is that you've got the raw material and you know how to process it into into uh, fine chemicals. Sun knows how to take that, and and they will be able to make a, a into cathode material. I'm not even worried about that. They've been in the business a long time. They've made sophisticated products before. And the fact is, China, as you know, does not capitalize health and safety. So even if they were perfect chemical engineers, their material. Once you add health and safety cost to it, is is more maybe more expensive than ours. But in any case, you're going to be a domestic supplier, and I congratulate you because now there's a Canadian company processing cobalt to make sulfate. You're you're a Canadian company now. Now you're you're gonna you're going to be able to produce cathode material for lithium iron phosphate batteries, and I believe in the United States we have none of that. So. Uh, John, I, 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 I'd wish you luck, but you don't need it. You, you, you've got skill, and you've made, you've made your own luck. So again, congratulations! I, I really am speechless. This is fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Jack. It, it means a lot uh, coming from you. It's uh, you know got a really hardworking team that works every day and work very closely with our partners. I have a lot of respect for them and, and the industry.